My grandfather in uh, 1901 started our family farm uh, in Batavia, New York. Uh, we were a cash crop farm at the time, and uh, over the years, uh, we grew into a livestock uh, farm. Uh, we farrowed to finish uh, over 1,500 hogs every year. Uh, we uh, had 1,500 acres uh, and grew sweet corn and hay and wheat, uh, oats, uh, barley, etc. Uh, and I can remember the days when uh, we would work uh, 12, 14, and yes, even sometimes 16 hours a day. Uh, we would uh, bale the hay and we'd have to wear long sleeve shirts the next day uh, because of the marks from the, from the Timothy and the alfalfa on our forearms. Um, we, we continue to uh, do this in New York because we have a very short growing season, uh, approximately five and a half months uh, compared to Florida and California and several other states that have a 12 month growing season. Uh, there's an old adage that says uh, when the sun shines, uh, you have to make the hay and uh, that's part of the problem with this legislation. Uh, this bill would establish unnecessary, bureaucratic, and costly new requirements for farm employees. The legislation purports to aid New York farm workers, uh, but in reality will actually adversely affect the majority of farm workers in this state. As Mr. Jordan indicated, uh, New York is second in terms of the average hourly wage uh, just behind California. Uh, the wage is $10.50 per hour and many of the farm workers uh, also have many, many other benefits. Uh, they have housing, uh, they have food, uh, and as he indicated, and I have, as I have before, uh, they're treated and are felt to be family. Uh, this is a family business, and uh, our farms are just that in New York, and to have this type of legislation proposed uh, is beyond, uh, why, beyond my thinking. Um, there is good evidence that our farmers treat and compensate their workers fairly and well, but also shows that New York farmers already faced with higher property and tax and energy costs are also in a competitive disadvantage when it comes to other states. Uh, New York farmers cannot afford additional mandates that put our business at competitive disadvantages, especially for, uh, for food production, which is now a global marketplace rather than a local one. New York farms are 99% family owned. These businesses provide the connecting links between the upstate cities and rural towns. Farming is an economic multiplier business. The average farm dollar turns around between four and six times in our local economy. Feeding other local families through employment on the farm, purchases of farm equipment, and many other goods and services. There is clear evidence that without these family businesses, the rural devastation would be much greater than you see today. Overtime pay simply is not workable on a farm. Wisconsin tried mandating overtime for farm employers, and they repealed the law in 2003 because of the damage it did to the state's dairy economy and consumers. At harvest time, farmers and their workers have to scramble to bring in the crop on days of favorable weather. As I said before, between five and a half and six months is all we have in New York State to harvest our goods. If legislation limits the number of days or hours workers can work, then farmers would be limited in their ability to bring in the crop before it over ripens or rots. Along with the devastation to the farm economy and to the farm workers themselves, since their hours will be cut, the losers would include consumers as well as the farm workers. New York State is one of numerous states that adopts the federal labor standards for agricultural workers. Only seven states have a state-mandated agricultural overtime requirement, most of which have adjustments that take into account the seasonality and perishability inherent in agricultural operations. There is a reason that many immigrants travel great distances to work on our farms on a seasonal basis. Because New York State farmers provide good working conditions and very good wages. Farmers are already rigorously regulated and inspected employers. The agricultural workforce is a crucial part of our farms. If farmers in this state 
did not treat their employees correctly and fairly, in this era of tight labor markets, they would not have a workforce to harvest their crops. We cannot continue to overly regulate and place onerous mandates on our farm families, and we cannot support legislation that simply puts more laws on the books without addressing some of the more basic needs of our farm workers and our farmers. Day after day, week after week, we hear that New York is open for business. The new New York. Those words ring hollow because this bill is more of the same old New York. Not open for business, creating more mandates, making it more difficult for our number one business in New York State, agriculture. I urge all of my colleagues to consider your vote carefully and hopefully join with me and many, many others in voting no on this legislation. Thank you.